Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for the weekend, August 20th and 21st, 2016. For your Saturday, we're going to have a cold front that's going to be situated to our west. This is going to come through here on Sunday night. Uh, so I do think we're going to have a, a partly cloudy day today. Just a very, very slight chance for a passing shower or thunderstorm. Uh, but most areas stay dry here on Saturday. The humidity levels won't be too crazy, maybe a little bit higher than they were here on Friday. And a little bit more in the way of cloud cover on Friday, but still more sun than clouds here on Saturday. Going forward to Sunday, that's the day we expect the cold front to move through. And you can see this area low pressure off to our north moving uh, eastward, bringing this cold front with it. Uh, this is going to uh, come through most likely in the uh, afternoon and evening hours here. A line of storms is going to form along this frontal boundary. It's still uncertain here whether or not we have any severe weather. One thing I did look at. Uh, when we were doing the uh, analysis, the model soundings and, uh, over the last couple runs of the global models and the uh, short range models, is one thing I've noticed is the it seems like there's a lot of uh, cold air behind this cold front that's lagging. So, in other words, uh, you have this uh, cold front up here like this, right? You have the uh, area low pressure sitting up here above the Great Lakes. There's a cool shot of air coming in behind this. Typically, when a cold front crosses, uh, you have the cold, uh, cooler air rushing in aloft, and you have, of course, the uh, warm, soupy, uh, high dew point air mass that's out ahead of the cold front. So when it runs into it, it's able to tap into some of that cooler air aloft and bring it down to the surface. That's how you get the gusty winds. In this case, it looks like this cool air is going to be lagging and not coming in until Monday. So what that does is uh, keeps the air aloft warm also, and that's going to kind of inhibit storm growth if that's the, if that's the case. Now, we're not saying that we won't get thunderstorms. I do think we, do, we get that. But unless something changes on the models uh, showing a little bit more cooler air aloft to work with, we're not going to be dealing with a lot of severe weather. And I think that's why you don't see a, a, a slight risk right now from the Storm Prediction Center. But that can certainly change over the weekend. So please stay tuned. If something changes, we'll let you know. Uh, this front will come through, and then Monday morning, is going to be back to refreshing. You have high pressure here in the Ohio Valley, and uh, that is going to be, make for a northwest wind and very, very comfortable here on Monday. Temperatures will struggle out of the 70s for probably our central and northern areas, probably north of this line right here. North of that, I don't think you're getting out of set, above uh, above 80 in the, or 80 or above above that line. South of there, I do think you do hit 80. So uh, it's going to be a refreshing day though with a northwesterly breeze, uh, low humidity. And uh, just a fantastic day compared to what we've been dealing with, all this oppressive heat and humidity. That is going to be changing uh, quite a bit here on Monday. By the time we get to Tuesday, a uh, pretty similar idea here. High pressure is going to be right over top of us, however. So I think you're going to have another uh, repeat day of that, but a very, very little in the way of wind with high pressure sitting right over top like that. Okay, and then we get into Wednesday, and that high pressure is going to start scooting off to the east a little bit. And I keep losing this image here. It's going to start scooting off to the east a little bit and eventually set up out here and by doing that it's going to start uh, you're going to start getting return flow around this very weak winds out of the southwest and that's going to increase your temperatures a little bit by the time you get to to wednesday uh so it won't be as cool as monday and tuesday will be but uh you know wednesday starts to moderate a little bit with that high pressure moving offshore and then even more so i think once you get into uh get into thursday here you see the high pressure is way off to the east here now and now we're looking at Thursday's forecast with another mostly sunny day. So it's going to be very, it's going to be mostly sunny all week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I do think a cold front that's uh, moving in from the west is going to come through here on Friday, or probably Friday evening or overnight. Uh, but uh, up until then, the entire week is, the entire work week is dry also. So we have these storms coming in here on Sunday. All right, we're still watching this and uh, see how this uh, works out as far as severity of these storms. Here's the Sunday storms. And that's going to be later in the day. It looks like it's going to be late afternoon, evening, into the first part of the overnight for these storms to come through. And then Monday morning through at least Friday, looks like it's dry until you get to the evening hours. And you could have another storm, another cold front come through with more scattered showers and thunderstorms at that time. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for the weekend, August 20th and 21st, 2016. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.